So hey guys, in this video we're going to see how we can deploy backend code to the servers. So I'm using my current code for a project. This is the backend of it. And I'm using Python that is Flask currently. Even it's Flask, FastAPI or any language that is Node.js or anything else. We can deploy it for free in render. So we are going to see how to do it. Uh, first, the requirements are just we have to import all this and you can just ask ChatGPT for the requirements and uh, make sure requirements.txt file should be there make sure there are no spelling mistakes in that and also after adding all the required requirements you have to add something called gunicorn uh, you will see later why and do not upload .env files because they are you know and coming to the google so let's just say for render this is the website first of all you have to log in and after that it will ask for github repository so you have to deploy your backend code into a repository so this is my backend code i have already deployed it both app.py and requirements text is there so i'm going to just select that after selecting you can select the language whatever language as you can see it's providing node mine is python so i'm going to select python the branch is main same you can if you want you can change this but i'm going to keep it as it is coming to the source Currently in my repository there is another folder which is the backend so I am going to keep it as like that and this is the requirements as I said the requirements spelling should be correctly and start command what is the start command uh, I just told you about Gunicorn right so this is why we need Gunicorn and just put app colon app so this is basic uh, code to run the application in local uh, machines you use python app.py right but in when in deployment we should not use that and select free care it will show you some warning basically it says that if uh, we don't uh, use our website for more than 15 minutes it will deactivate it you can say it will sleep so once after 15 minutes or some time if you want to use it again it will just take some time to wake it up that's it but it's work fine so the conditions are it shouldn't be using more than 500 mb it should be fine for my app so check yours here you have to add your environment variables if any else don't worry about it i have mine so i'm going to copy paste it and i have added mine some advanced settings i don't want this and once cross check everything once everything is done just deploy the web service so there is an error please use a relative path like okay and it's showing that three instance will spin down with an activity and delay request by 50 seconds okay that's fine and it's beginning into building it's downloading the requirements build is successful deploying and there you go the app is live now it's giving me the backend endpoint. We can even see the backend endpoint here. There you go. You can just copy your backend endpoint and use wherever you want to. That's it. So in this way we can simply and easily deploy our backend code in the servers for free. Okay. Let's meet in the next video. In the next video I will show you the deployment of friend end code.
we will use Vercel in that. So let's meet in the next video.